So here we are with a Windows 10 laptop. I'm logged into the user account I want to log into with a chip implant. I have a KBR1 reader connected up to the USB. Now the KBR1 acts like a keyboard. So when we connect it up, you're gonna see a second keyboard pop up maybe in the uh, little window here. But essentially when I scan any ISO 1443A chip implant, tag, key fob card, it's going to read the serial number of that chip and it's going to type it out as if it was a keyboard. And then uh, that'll be followed by an enter key. So uh, how we actually get it to set up uh, and be used as a login or a secondary authentication is that uh, we, from the login screen, we type into this little search bar here, um, sign in options. So we want to hit sign in options and you'll see a list of different options here, but the one we're interested in is the pin option. So we're going to select that and add a pin. So I need to enter my super complex password and now it's going to ask for a pin. And at this point, the cursor is right in that new pin text box, which is where we want it, because when I scan, it's gonna type out the number. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And I scanned my Flex NT here. So see, it typed out the number, but we got an error because it also uh, hit the enter key. So it needs to have a confirmation pin first. So we're gonna hit that, put the cursor into the confirmation pin box, scan again and it disappeared because it typed it out and hit enter. So now I have a pin registered to the account. And now we're going to show how you can use it. So I'm going to control it, delete and lock the computer. We have a, a marsupial of some sort there, I think. And then, uh, you know, uh, swipe up and you'll see the, uh, the login is now asking for a pin because I've defined a pin code for this account. So all I have to do is scan. It enters the pin and then hits enter. So I'm right in uh, back where I started. So that's how you do it.